Hey guys, Ross here with Ross Buys. Uh, just closed on this beautiful house here on 2715 High Street. Uh, it's kind of a really cool road. Actually, right over here, you can see the Des Moines skyline. Uh, it's kind of got this urban kind of feel with the houses kind of close together. Just a really cool area uh, with Ingersoll, just a, just a block here to the south. Um, so here, we've got a pretty monstrous eight bed, uh, I think four bathroom. Uh, bought it in kind of a hoarder situation, so it's unfortunate you'll see some of that when we go inside. Uh, but this house has a lot of really cool charm uh, and character and woodwork that, that is going to be really fun to work with when we start designing our final product. So clearly there's a little bit of a mess in here to look past, but uh, when you kind of get past the things that are in here, you can kind of see that it's already got a bit of an open floor plan. Um, nice big dining room opens up to a big living uh, and kind of family room area just off of that, kind of a sun port, so I think that was added at some point. Uh, in the kitchen, uh, which I'm sure we will totally open up and make for a nice big open concept kitchen. Uh, this door to the first level office uh, is actually reported or rumored to have come from the downtown Des Moines Library. Ironically, the nicest, what might be the nicest room in the house is this first floor bathroom. Uh, however, we still will do a pretty big transformation. We want area specific tile uh, and, and uh, we'll, we'll pretty much gut this whole room. Staircase, though a little creaky, which will need some work, uh, really showcases a lot of the nice woodwork that this house has. Speaking of woodwork, uh, right at the top of the stairs are some really nice built-in shelves that will uh, showcase some decor. One thing this place is really missing that a lot of people seem to be looking for in newer houses is a really nice master. So what we're going to do is actually sacrifice one of these bedrooms and connect it with the bathroom that's at the end of the hall to make kind of a nice big master with a big closet and an attached master bath. Can't wait to get Mike and Jessica through here to start kind of designing concepts and see where we're going to take this thing. Stay tuned for updates.